Okay, so now we are going to see the working of the Prim's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree. So what is the minimum spanning tree? A minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree, first of all, that covers all the vertices in the graph such that the sum of all the edge weights is the minimum. Okay, so a tree that covers all the vertices uh, of a graph such that if you add up all the edge weights, the tree has to be of the minimum weight. Okay. So now let's do an example of finding the minimum spanning tree using Prinz algorithm. Now, the uh, underlying principle behind Prinz algorithm is this. You always try to maintain uh, two sets of vertices, the optimal set and the fringe set. Actually, I have it here. So the optimal set uh, uh, comprises these vertices for which you have already found this is the minimum spanning tree connecting these vertices right now for this fringe set for every vertex in the fringe set you try to maintain the estimate of the best minimum weight edge okay so for each vertex in the fringe set we maintain the estimate of the uh, we maintain an estimate of the minimum weight edge that connects this that connects the vertex to the optimal set okay so that's what we try to maintain for each iteration and we um, for every iteration we select that edge that is a minimum weight among the vertices um, in the optimal set and the vertices in the fringe set and that would be actually uh, the vertex for which you have found already the minimum weight edge that can connect it to the optimal set. So let's do this example. So we start with A. So again like the axis algorithm initialization is 0, infinity, infinity, infinity for all the vertices. So now um, A is the in the optimal set and everything else is in the fringe set as I show here. So now we try to explore the edges connected to A and um, see if we can reduce the weight of the estimate of the minimum weight edge to its neighbors. So zero, we are not going to anymore add things. So we are just going to consider the edge weight. So that adding is for the extra. So now we can suggest the edge weight. So five is less than infinity so we can change this from infinity to 5 and make this as the best estimate of the minimum weight edge similarly 7 is less than infinity so we make it 7 and make it as the best estimate for the minimum weight edge so now basically we see here we have we have 5 and 7 as the uh, best estimates of the minimum weight edge to connect to the optimal set. Everything else is infinity. So between 5 and 7, we pick the minimum, which is 5. So 5 gets into the optimal set, and this edge now becomes part of the minimum spanning tree. So now we have all these vertices uh, which are in the fringe set. So now the latest vectors that we vertex that we added to the optimal set is D. So now by going through D, D, we are trying to see if we can update the weight of the minimum weight edge through which the vertices in the fringe set are connected. So this edge weight is nine. Is nine less than seven? No. So we just keep it as it is. This is fifteen. Is fifteen less than infinity? No. Uh, or yes, yes. Sorry. So 15 is less than infinity, so we make it 15 and highlight this edge. What about this? 6 less than infinity, yes, so we put 6 and highlight this edge. Those are three edges we can really optimize from D. So now we have these vertices, so the minimum among them is 6, so F gets into the optimal set through this edge. The edges connected to F are um, this one, they are this, so 8 is less than 15 yes 
so we can uh, include uh, update reduces to 8 and make this a separate decision right similarly 11 less than infinity yes so we can make it 11 and make it a separate decision right so now we have um, 7 8 11 infinity so the minimum among them is 7 so that makes B to become now part of the optimal set so now explore the neighbors of B you have 8 less than infinity yes so we make it 8 7 less than 8 yes so we make it 7 and make this predecessor H or the best weight H now <coughs> We have 8, 7, and 11, so we pick up 7. So 7 becomes part, or E becomes part of the optimal set. So now we have this edge 5 less than 8, yes. So 5, 8 can reduce it to 5, and 9 less than 11, yes. So this is now stored in the optimal set. So now between 5 and 9, we pick 5, and all its other neighbors are already in the optimal set. So only G is left over, so G is also part of the optimal set. So all these dark edges put together form the minimal spanning tree. The weight of this span, minimal spanning tree is 5 plus 9, 14, 21, 28, 33, 39. So there is no, there could be several minimum spanning trees that's possible, but all these minimum spanning trees will have to have the weight 39. Cannot be less than 39 or more than 39. Okay. All right. Um, now if you notice here I think I repeated it already but let me tell you this so you have this op optimal set and you have a fringe set so you have several vertices connecting the optimal set and the fringe set so every time what we do we pick the minimum among this so the minimum among this in this case is 7 so that is actually indicated here so each vertex has an estimate of the best minimum weight edge through which it can connect to the optimal set. So in this case, B has the best estimate of the minimal weight edge, which is 7, and E has 8, and G has 11. Okay, so same way here, <coughs> you have several edges connecting the fringe, optimal set and the fringe set, and the minimum weight edge among them is 8. Now we can break the tie in any order, but you see here, but this is uh, sorry, the minimum weight is 7, I'm sorry. So we pick 7, which is this guy, and pull it into the optimal set. Okay, So that's the property. So at any for every iteration, we pick the minimum weight edge connecting the optimal set and the fringe set, and that is captured through the weights on the vertices. Okay, So each vertex has, an, has the best possible estimate that it can have for the uh, minimum weight edge through which it can connect to the optimal set. Okay. So now let's prove the correctness. So the proof of correctness is actually quite simple. <coughs> um, so we, we are going to use induction here. Let me use this itself here. Let's see. So let's say at the end of iteration i minus 1, we have a minimum spanning tree among the vertices in the optimal set. So let me indicate that the tree, this tree, as my ti minus 1, okay? So now we are going to pick the minimum weight edge among the vertices connecting the optimal set and the fringe set and make it to be part of um, the minimum spanning tree. So we are going to put together this edge vu and that will get get us this tree ti so now this ti is the minimum spanning tree okay but we have to prove it okay now so by contradiction let's say there is um spanning minimum there is a spanning tree ti prime that is of weight less than Uh, weight of ti prime is less than weight of ti okay now we have to argue whether this is possible if ti prime the weight of ti prime is going to be less than weight of ti there has to be 
there has to be one edge at least one edge in di prime that is not in di and vice versa because if every edge in di prime is in di then both are the same right so there has to be at least one edge in di prime that is not in di and vice versa right so let v prime comma u prime be such an edge that is only in di prime okay now the question is where can be this vi v prime comma u prime now v prime comma u prime cannot be something like this uh, with both the vertices in the fringe set right it doesn't make sense so this is ruled out it cannot be in the <coughs> it cannot be both both the vertices v prime and u prime cannot be in the fringe set because it's kind of we want to have them part of the optimal set right it's not the case so well, how about this v prime is here and u prime is here and it's connecting the optimal set and the fringe set now the question is is that possible uh, the answer would be no why because <coughs> VU, the one that you added to TI minus 1, is the minimum weight edge among these vertices, among these edges connecting the optimal set and the fringe set. So, if V prime, U prime has to be part of a minimal spanning tree, then it has to be equal to, V prime has to be equal to V and U prime equals U. If that is the case, then TI should be equal to TI prime. So, which makes it like V prime, U prime cannot be part of, cannot be like this, connecting the optimal set and the fringe set. Okay, so again, uh, again, I'm repeating. V prime, U prime cannot be like this with both vertices in the fringe set because we want them to be part of the optimal set at the end of iteration I. Okay, so they could be either here like this, connecting like v prime is in the optimal set and u prime is in the fringe set or both v prime u prime is in the optimal set that's the third possibility so let's now let's look at the second possibility where v prime is in the optimal set and u prime is in the fringe set now is that possible during iteration i that you can pick v prime u prime no because you pick v u because it is a minimal weight edge connecting the optimal set and the fringe set right so if v prime u prime has to be part of the minimal spanning tree ti prime then this v prime u prime has to be the minimum weight edge among these edges and that is the case then v prime has to be equal to v and u prime has to be equal to u which means t prime ti prime has to be equal to ti so that makes it like v um, prime u prime has to be sorry has to be part of has to be both of them have to be in the optimal set itself to start with in during iteration i okay so but they are not part of ti minus one right because if they are part of ti minus one then they would have been part of ti also right so they are not v, v prime u prime is not part of ti minus one right because if if v, v prime u prime is in ti minus one because we're just adding t v u to ti so then v prime u prime would be in ti two but what is the thing v prime u prime is only in ti prime and not in ti okay so it has to be something like this right so now we try to we will try to add or connect this v prime u prime <coughs> um okay so that creates a cycle right so wherever you put it and uh, connect it so that creates a cycle right so the issue is can there be an edge which is costlier than this edge v prime u prime which means i'm asking if there can be an edge something like this five weight 5 and this is say some 4 which is so this or let's say this is some 
six or something or seven okay and let's say this is of eight six can that be an edge in the cycle especially uh, excluding v prime u prime which is of eight greater than v prime u prime if that is the case then we could have we could now have v prime u prime to be in this tree and remove this edge from the tree right so that would reduce actually the weight of ti minus one because to start with what we said uh, everything except this v prime u prime in this edge so that is a to start with to start with what is the condition uh, the assumption ti minus one with all these edges is a minimum spanning tree but if you could replace this edge and add this edge from v prime to u prime then it means reducing the weight of ti minus one further which means ti minus one to start with is not a minimum spanning tree it's a contradiction so which means v prime u prime the weight of this edge v prime u prime is the costliest among all the edges that are part of this cycle okay it has to be the costliest among all the edges that are part of the cycle which means if you you really don't need to connect the two components any component where like for example let me see i can do one more thing here you don't need to connect any component where you have u prime in one component can visualize it uh, where u prime is in one component like this and v prime is in another component like this you don't need to connect them through an uh, edge because you could find <coughs> um, the edges that connect these vertices with lower weight compared to v prime u prime so including them would only further increase the weight of the minimal spanning tree okay so all these discussions hold good for any edge v prime u prime that is only in ti prime and not in ti okay because including them in the minimal spanning tree is going to only increase the weight of the spanning tree right so ti minus 1 to start with is a minimum spanning tree and vu is the best minimal weight edge that you can include by so there cannot be a better spanning tree ti prime of weight lower than the weight of the spanning tree ti okay so that's how we prove the correctness of prim's algorithm